units. Um, I've already got uh, quite a few loaded over here. I've been working on it, uh, you know, off and on for a couple of days. These are some, this is 168 grain boat tail hollow point by Hornady. And it's uh, IMR 4895. And these are, uh, this is new brass, uh, Winchester brass that I got. Um, and I started off, I, 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 I've been kind of a, I've developed kind of a, uh, a leaning towards uh, CCI primers. I don't know why, I just it seems like they're the most most consistent that I've used. And um, when I started loading, I ran out of CCI large rifle primer. So then I just I had some of these and I switched over. I don't usually like you know switching things around, but whatever i've just you know these are my first uh 30 out six loads for uh loading for this right here everybody knows probably what that is these are some dummy rounds i loaded up just uh you know to have them practice around with them play around with them so imr 4895 uh 45.5 grains is what i'm shooting for and i'm using the lee perfect powder measure and I'm, I'm weighing each one and it's you know they're they're not exact um i'm not you know trying to do perfection um i'm just using that powder drop and i'm checking it with the scale and i mean i'm getting you know uh anywhere from you know 45.5 up to like maybe 47 uh you know a little bit of variation not not huge you know tenths of a grain variation not not a major you know problem i don't think um but it's been pretty accurate it's a little little lee perfect powder measure it does a really good job with the uh, stick powders um so uh you know i was using my frankfurt arsenal um hand primer that's a great that's a great tool highly recommended so uh you know i got my brass here sized uh you know with the primers in it and these are just some old uh, rcbs dies i bought off of ebay like uh i don't know last year sometime and i don't even remember honestly uh what i paid for them i got them i mean it may have been like you know 12 or 16 dollars i'm not really sure it wasn't much um and then i went ahead and got the uh, lee factory uh crimp die i'm a big fan i, I really like the lee factory crimp dies um i pretty much get those for everything i'm i'm loading and i'm using the little uh i got a home geek scale they make different brands i, I don't know uh there's one that's like a way w-a-o-o-w or whatever it's pretty much the same same scale as far as i can tell but um just uh 48.95 dropping that down weighing it i got uh 45.32 so there you go not not a major not a major deal i'm just loading these up just to just to shoot these are going to be my first uh, shots to see how they do and uh these are some really cheap bullets that i got a couple years ago um from wideners i don't know if anybody's familiar with them but they sell a lot of reloading bulk reloading components and these are 147 grain full metal jacket they have different ones on sale from time to time these are just like a generic uh, brand that i got um i think at the time i don't know i'm thinking they were maybe like 56 or 60 dollars or something for 500 of them so uh you know pretty cheap uh pretty cheap bullets seating and do a little crimp and this is probably one of my favorite tools here this is a sheridan slotted gauge and um these sheridan gauges they're just they're they're just really really nice i mean it's an expensive piece of equipment i mean they're about sixty dollars but um as you can see right there 30 out six but with the slotted gauge um you know you can see how it fits in the chamber and these will actually tell you the correct you know overall length if you go overall length and you can see you know the brass um if the brass uh is uh you know trimmed right to the proper length you can see where it uh you know the headspace and 
you just kind of rotate it or I do you know rotate it around a couple times and you know check it and make sure everything looks good and you can actually see how it fits in the chamber so this like I said it's not a cheap tool um, I've got another one of these for 300 blackout which I highly recommend for 300 blackout because it's uh, you know it's actually before I got this I had a, a one that got stuck um, in the chamber and it, it was a pain and uh, so I've checked every everything that was a good lesson and I've had a I bought a Sheridan gauge and I've used it and uh, when I'm really wanting to you know check myself and make sure I'm doing the right stuff I uh, you know and I got one of these Hornady gauges too and th these things are fine you know this is more of a more of a case gauge I guess you know um, and I, I use it too but uh, you know for brass mainly uh, checking brass but this uh, like I said the Sheridan slotted gauge that's just a really nice uh, piece of equipment right there so let's see let's do another one here let me tear the scale here the perfect powder measure let's see what I get this time Yep, 45.64. Throw that on there. Up, oh, somebody's waving. <laughs> Can I switch the switch? Up, oh, hold on a minute. All right, so let's see. Yep, there we go. Turn it. Looks good. So this is uh some ammo I'm making just for shooting 30 out six hopefully I'll get to get out and uh, you know test these out and see how they do pretty soon uh, I've also got some uh, military brass that I got um, some once fired brass I, I thought Etsy was for like crafting supplies and stuff my wife's always ordering crafting supplies on there and I was looking for uh, you know 30 out six um, military brass and it came up Etsy I'm like that's weird I thought they only sold crafts or whatever so I learned something new every day but I got this um, it's mostly uh, HXP which I think is the Greek uh, head stamp but there's some Lake City in there and some other but um, it looks like some pretty nice uh, pretty nice brass I mean I'm gonna I'm in the process of uh, you know uh, depriming them and uh, I'm probably gonna uh, size these, uh, trim them, and then throw them in the um, wet tumbler, and uh, you know get them ready, uh, get them ready for reloading, and uh, try out some of those too. But uh, right now I've just been working with the. Uh, this is a new bag of 30 out six that I got, and I also bought just some PPU, uh, you know, M1 Grand or Garand uh, ammo there to try out so that's what I've been uh, been up to here the last couple of days just uh, doing this trying to get some 30 out 6 loaded up to try out just some first initial test loads so stay tuned here we'll see what happens <laughs> 